Now here we are up on a chimney. And what's going on with this chimney is it's leaking real bad. It's going on the face of the fireplace. So they came up here with a hose and they ran it on the roof and it didn't leak. So they're suspecting that it's coming through the brickwork. And these are these concave joints. And what they did was they put caulking in here and all this other stuff. The top of the chimney has the cap on it. And if you could see that, there's a bow in it. Because what happens with stone after a while is it sags and it bends. People don't believe that, but I have a video that uh, proves that. And so we're going to rip all this caulking out and we're going to point it up and I'm going to put some paper over the top of the chimney because it's going to rain tonight. And I'm going to show you how I did it. What we're going to do is get all this caulking out. That's the first thing. With a screwdriver, whatever we got to use. And then we get the wire brush. This is a wire brush. And we're going to go over and get all that stuff out of there. And then we're going to join her up. Uh, here's a little problem. You see the chimney cap? Uh, this is loose. Right here. And what we got to do is kind of re cement it in. And then we're going to put black paper over for tonight. Put some stones on it so it don't blow off. See, you know what they didn't do underneath is make a cut. Usually, right in here, about a half inch away, just make a cut mark. And then the water will come over the top and hit the cut mark and fall down. Otherwise, it'll follow itself right in and right down the flue. I've seen that happen before. Well, here's the cap of the chimney again. And what I found out was water was going into here and going down the flue. He said put the level on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this side up to compensate on it. So I, I wet this down with my sprayer and then I just throw the cement on top of the wetness. You see? That's what makes cement stick. And I'm building like a little roof or a, a way for the water to run off. And then I get my big trawl Flatten it out, making sure the water goes away from the center. So now I got it where it's pitched, where the water will go to the sides instead of the, into the center. Now we're striking the brick up. I use a, a trowel, you could use a hock. And just take the cement off of here. I just push it in, trying not to get the brick dirty. That's the whole secret. Same thing with this one. Down here, I don't do a lot of pointing up, but what's going on is they uh, get a lot of water in here. So they want this done first, and they're going to put a sealer on. And I just go like that, and with my cross joints, like that. Take it off, let it stick on. Go this way with it. Once you get it all in, you gotta just go over it with your raker or your slicker, depends on what part of the country, whatever you want to call it. Make sure you it's in there good. That's it. Okay, we jointed up our brickwork like that. And we left this cap on a chimney with the black paper. And the owner said he didn't get any water in a chimney. So uh, we're going to take it off now and do a couple things. I'll show you what's going on. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this diamond saw. And we're going to cut an edge all along the side. Now here's what I did so I, I could show you. Now you're asked why did I cut that groove in it? Because when it's when it's laying like this, the water runs over the side 
it hits that and it drips off. Otherwise the water will fall over and fall into the flues. Now here's what I'm doing. I'm taking some roofing cement and I just got a little trowel like this. I'm just putting it on the top. Very, very thin. I'm going to do this whole thing. Now here's a piece I did weeks ago before I came up here. It dries real quick, so I'm not worried about it. Now we're just going to finish up and put a, a brick sealer on it. It's going to seal it up. And then uh, probably come back and do it again. On top of this chimney you're going to see a chimney cap. That is what we call code anymore. They got those chimney caps. Our chimney cap was up there for over 30 years so we just fixed it. He's going to put a gas fireplace in and we had to stop the